Hello everyone, a new save. Um, I'm being PSV. Uh, I'm doing another no signing save um, for people that are new to the channel as well. It's something you can follow. Uh, why PSV? Uh, good Youth Academy. It was a toss up between them, IX and Fire Nord. I had a little look around the squads, and there's also a little kind of tactic I want to try. So, as you can see, like they've got the players kind of to suit this lopsided. Uh, formation we've got Romadel as an out and out winger we've got Boomer who's just a complete tank down the left side we've got two holding um, midfielders to keep the flow going we've got Odger bringing it out of defence but actually they've got quite a few kind of defenders that can do that I've got Odger there um, Adu uh, I think we've even got a couple in the reserves that can do this similar job him as well he's got like some okay attributes to bring it out so yeah i'm really excited about this uh obviously kesman you've got vengor of hesselink as the big target man brugink is just forward runs in behind i'm more as a shadow striker but i don't need the arrow forward because i'm going to play kesman closer to vengor of hesselink um i've uh, got faber moving out i've got two dr drcs so I thought this might be a good idea just to have them coming out and just offering a bit of support for Romadel. Um, it will be interesting to see how it goes. I might have to change a couple of things. Um, we've got a nice Super Cup game against uh, FC20 to start off the the campaign um, just to see how the tactic flows for the first game. Um, hopefully my team's fully fit for that. Uh, yeah, so... Let's move on. I've got like Jiong. I've been offering some of the players contracts just to keep them. I made a few mistakes with the Juve save, didn't I? Which I'm going to continue. I'm going to be still um, uploading. I've got so many of those episodes to upload, so I'll just move it along. I'm just leaving it a few days for people to catch up that probably thought I'm dead or something. Because <laughs> I hadn't been on YouTube for like six or seven months. So i let them uh, catch up once the views go up a little bit and then I'll start um, uploading new Juventus episodes. But this is the same idea, no sign-ins. I'm only bringing in a coach, um, coaches, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's crack through. It's right at the start of the game, the first day. I'm expected to challenge for the title, obviously, with Ajax and Feyenoord. Uh, leagues loaded, uh, just the main ones in Europe, just to make the uh, Champions League a lot, a lot more competitive. As you can see, Romadel already ten years, Vengor Hesselink ten years. I was really tempted with Ajax because they had Ibrahimovic, Chavu. They had some really nice players as well. It was really close. So I just decided with PSV just because they had some. They had some attributes I quite liked, and I've never been PSV on the game before. And on other versions, I have been Ajax and tried out like total football tactics and things like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, be PSV because I've never been them before. I also want to be Bayern one day. Oh, he's uh, rejected. Uh, why, why, why? No way, he's expiring as well. Ah. He was going to be my backup boomer. And I, I can play him anywhere really, can't I? <laughs> and he, he can play there, that, he, can, he can play that role, that role, or this role. Uh. Anyway, let's click on, before I like, start procrastinating and looking at players and stuff, I want to get cracked straight into this. got a release a uh, coach who was the crap one there was one of them that was goddamn awful was it Ryan or well, I've already released him that was him 
Yeah, I just needed to coach in with um, high ta uh, tactical and I could use this for fitness as well. Tactics and fitness. I'll run a little bit slower than the UV one because I've got more leaks laid in. It still seems to be running okay. I've got a young hen, only 17. He'll get some games this season. I've just got some of the youngsters on very intensive training in the reserves, so which I'll probably. I'm probably not going to play Hunter that much first season. I just want to see if I can get his attributes up. Obviously, if I have an injury crisis, they're going to get played, but. I'm always a little bit nervous for when, with videos because <laughs> you got you have all these tactical ideas and they can all go to shit once you've uh, loaded it up and people think, well, what, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Isn't it obvious that you're having two defenders fly out from a out out from the defence that you're going to concede goals or whatever, you know? But we shall see. I'm going to be a bit worried about that defensively in the Champions League, but I'm hoping um, Van Bommel and uh, Vogel in the midfield can have got enough uh, defensive cover in them because I can always drag them back and have the arrow up. For I've got the option with these. We'll see what works better. I can either do that or that for more for uh, um, Champions League, really tough Champions League games and possibly even against Ajax or Feyenoord, but would have more of an idea because 20 aren't a bad side. They've got some good players. He's pretty poor. Actually, um, they've got some okay players. He's the type of player I'd be uh, signing up if he's um, got 17 uh, dribbling at 18. Obviously, if I, do, if I was going to sign players. Here we go, the first game. Hoffland's back actually, so I can put him back in for Adu. It's just going to be some things on the tactic I'm a bit worried about for the first few games because I've got to get an idea of the passing. I've got the uh, left-sided centre-back on mixed. Faber, what's he on at the moment? Is he either short or long? I've got a nice keeper. I've got him on direct at the moment, but we shall see. I might have to put him on... I was even tempted to maybe put him on long so he can hit Veng Vengora Hesselink early, especially if he's a little bit isolated and deep. Um, makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, well, in theory, you never know with the match engine. Uh, Ramsey, Fawkes. Uh, only five subs in Holland. Uh, do I need. All right, okay, so I'm going to have to put. Actually, I have to put Otto on the bench because he can either be. He can cover midfield or defence if we get an injury. And I need someone. Yeah, Jong. Why is Jong unhappy? Is it. Oh, it's the training, that's why. Unhappy with training. I'm going to have to take him off training to offer him a new contract then, or I'll lose him. 
we'll see how it goes. He's 19 influence. What's Van Bommel? 20. Uh, what's Fogel out of interest? 17. Uh, Van Bommel, what am I starting him with? Run with ball, hold up ball. Short, hard, yes. Forward, back for set pieces. And I've got both uh, centre midfielders on man marking. Um, because I just need a little bit of defensive cover. We'll see. I might have to put them on zonal because it might just suit them better. And 20 are playing a wall in the hole is going to be dangerous. And they're flying down the flanks. They're whip wobbing as well. Bastards. Let's go. Hopefully I've just got too much for them. Brig income a bit. Unsure what to do with him at the moment for his attributes set. He's just like quite nicely rounded. I've just got him as a, like a pressing A and C really. Forward runs, obviously supporting and Kesman coming across. Forward runs, runs with ball. I don't usually do that with poachers, but I just got a feeling Kesman will be good on that. And hold up ball, uh, zonal as well. I'm tempted maybe to put him on man marking as well. What's Polak like? He's actually a. He could actually. Um, we'll see. Uh, a bit worried. And urge you to uh, bring the ball out of defence and play short passes into the midfield. Um, the problem with short passing on non with Bob obviously is the between the lines. So I like to, if I'm playing free at the back, I like to have one defender bring the ball out. Or at least have an arrow up so that so that you are playing between the lines more effectively. Let's go. Common to speak. Early chance. And we've given away a penalty in the first five minutes. But we look good going forward and we're two 0 down already. Romadel gets one back. Kesman should have scored. We aren't we aren't fully fit yet either though. Vogel makes it two two. They scored with only two attacks, which is high, which is very worrying. Um, and our goalkeeper's playing a five. What passing could I put them on? Probably Faber's playing a six out there. So let's try Faber on long. Vogel on Ramadal so far. Let's take Kesman off run with ball. On to the second half. Kesman. Kesman. <laughs> well. Let's save that because some of the settings are a lot better like that. Uh, PSV hyper attack. Vengor has a link. Well, we're just, it's going to be a fun season, you know, already. Let's try. Um, for the second half he's actually a midfielder so we'll move the arrow up let's bring on Odu just to save injuries and let's try a Jung for uh, Fabe is still only playing a six I already bought Ado one so who do we want we want him on for Boomer don't we and Boomer's playing an eight uh, Boomer I haven't got him on forward runs I've just got him on run with ball Let's see if I feel weaker when there's, I'm playing a few people out of position. Yeah, I was worried a bit about Faber. Let's just bring uh, Ramadale back for the rest of the game. Actually, I need to stick to the rules of three at the back. Um, who can I bring back then? Have to do that for the rest of the game.
Uh, he's not really a centre back either. I'm a bit worried now. He could be something like five five. <laughs> Kesman, hat trick. We're not fully fit either, as well. Yeah, Scott Booth gets one back for 20. 6 3. <laughs> that is really good efficiency, though. It's going to be interesting to see what we do, how we do. A bit worried how our, our favour just. Uh, what's Colin like? Uh, we'll see. Anyway, we're at home to Feyenoord next. Uh, I'm going to uh, discipline player. Uh, dismissal in prior match. Well, there's going to be some fun matches this season, you just know. I would have took that going to your town so early in, in the match. Very nice. Go on and assist. Kesman got a hat trick. Um, and we're getting fully fit as well for the big for the big game against Feyenoord. Do I, do I keep the faith in my system <laughs> for this game? Uh, how did Audrey play bringing it out? He got an eight, nice dribbling, decent tackling, high passing, very nice. How did Romadale do? Yeah, scored. Passing, some directs, try him on short. Uh, what should I see? How was Brugink? He got an assist. 76. Short pressing hard. All right. We are at home. I'm actually going to try Colin on pressing hard long. This is passing seven, yeah. Um, oh, we can have seven then. Uh, subs. And final to play in a four four two. They got uh, they got a nice strike force so they got Kalu and they got Van Hoydonk. Good start. Ooh. Jesus, their goalkeepers are. Uh, I already know he's playing an eight or a nine. Brig Inc. Let's take him off the owner actually.
Have I not scored? Ah, uh, Pierre Fine will take the lead. Ah, uh, it's a poor performance for our first league game. It's not great, is it? And we're away at Fortuna next. I'm not overly concerned. It's going to take me about six, seven games to get a feel for it. I reckon once I know this tactic, though, I'm probably going to go unbeaten. Ajax win. It's not good, though, because Ajax and uh, Final both won their opening matches. Mm -hmm. I could draw Bromadale back into the MR slot and have him going up to AMR right. We shall see. So I might take um, Brugink off uh, forward runs. He has got a long shot, I know. Romadel. His work rate's not that high. His passing's low. They're all whip wobbing. It's really, really annoying. Ben Gora Hisselink makes it 1 0. Kesman. Romadel. Romadel. Now Hofflin is struggling. Actually, just put them all on short. Let's take them off three balls then. How's Colin doing? Seven.
and Briggings playing an eight like that. Uh, let's just bring on Marquino. Yeah, seeing as the zonal starts to come off on some of the positions, it's a bit... It's just getting to know who can play what. But at least we won, so that's the important thing. We was 4-0 up before I started fucking around. Uh, on to the next game. I'm pleased with how the strikers have started anyway. What are they now? Vengor, 2-1 assist. Uh, Kesman, 4-3. And then we got another away game at NEC, uh, NAC. <coughs> I think the league's going to be a bit tougher than I thought because a lot of the weaker teams are wibwobbing as well. And hopefully we don't get a, like a really tough first phase uh, Champions League group. Dorman, Galatasaray, Juventus. Pretty interesting we got Juventus on the first in the group considering on the other save. I don't like my goalkeeper. Do I have a young one coming through? Not really. Kind of. So they get match fit. I'll just put a few of them back. Faber's back. Uh, How's Van Bommel been doing? Three assists. Vogel.
We're playing number 442 again. Let's go. Did I change Romadol? Yeah. One nil down, twenty yard shot. Kesman. I really don't like my goalkeeper, he just concedes every shot. Hoffland again. Put one direct. Let's press with both. Let's press with the whole back line actually. Colin. God, how many chances am I missing? Oh my god. <laughs> Poor start to the season and on to the the grass game. Yeah, that's the only problem. There's going to be gaps because of the processing. I might just play the young goalkeeper, you know.
I might have to create an, uh, a way variant because every time the uh, AI attacks, they score. It might just be a, a goalkeeping issue. I just don't like that keeper already. I'm just not even putting him in. Why is he unhappy now? <laughs> it's going to be tough to get out of that group. I've got you, Juventus and Dortmund. Maybe not have the midfielders hold it up as much, but the match stats would suggest the tactics all right. It could just be a goalkeeping issue, so hopefully this, this Coutinho sorts that problem out. Favoured is bad. But that Colin's been doing well since I've been playing him. The goal's conceded, sorry, at the moment. I shouldn't be conceding two goals against uh, those teams. An Ajax win again. Uh, Colin's only 90%, so I'm going to put Faber back in. Uh, Vagel's been doing okay. What about Van Bommel? This one is okay. Uh, how did Bredink do when he was off forward runs? Yeah, his ratings have gone up. Should I put Kesman on run with ball? Considering, yeah, okay, I'll do that. You shall see if my, our, our new goalkeeper is any good because the, the opposition is always going to get chances against me in this tactic. Regink.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Again, the, go the goalkeeper is going to be an issue, isn't it? All season, you can tell. I certainly need um, like a late game tactic just to stop uh, the AI just getting late goals all the time. Or just scoring every time they get in. And we're away at Dortmund. <laughs> Should I keep the same shape? You never know. Who knows? That's why I did take off some players as well, just knowing that um, the Dortmund game was coming up. Uh, view attributes, uh, technical. I want to give the penalty to Brook Inc as well. Um, hopefully he just smashes it. <laughs> Colin, oh, that was lucky actually. Um, I've got to stop going 100 mile an hour. I'm going to put Colin back for Faber. Um, anyone else I want to change? Make sure Chasm's off. So Ramadan's passing, I take him off cross ball. Uh, might just take him off cross ball. How's Boomer been doing down the flank? Okay. Gets high ratings as well. It's Colin or Ferrar? Colin. Alright, let's go. What Dortmund playing? Riziki's going to be a bit of a worry. He's marking uh, Thomas Riziki. Who's Fogel marking? Let's go. Tight match so far. Come on, Gesman, you've got to be putting him away. Brook Inc. So all going well so far. Tight game. Um, He is marking Rizitsky, sorry. Um, and our goalkeeper's playing a nine. Wow. Oh, 
often struggling again. Yang Kala. Really good away win. Uh, Fingal Hessling didn't have a good game. Everyone else played pretty well. Goalkeeper played an eight. Heron Veen at home. <coughs> Got a good chance again through that group now. Dortmund is strong on the ODB, aren't they? I'm going to have to rotate for the home game because I need to um, play my full strength team in the Champions League. I might play Hunter Law. Uh, I'm going to play play Becker this guy. Not Becker. I've actually got an okay guy. I'm midfielder left who might do okay for a game. Uh, I'll give Ramsey a game. I have to play... What's Ramsey's long shots? 11. Fleur. He can't really press either. Uh... Who can I play as an out-and-out -out winger on the right? That's the only problem if Romadale's not... <sighs> Hopefully this doesn't cost me. Uh, Jung's work rate's pretty okay. Does he? I'm actually going to start with Brick Inc because he's been really good. Uh, Majoris is uh, not even fit. Romadao is though. He plays that role well, doesn't he? Uh, what about Ijo? How's he been doing? Mm. Van Bommel does well in there with five assists. Jeez. What about Fix? Alright, yeah, I'm playing Fix. So I need to put um, Vogel on the bench. And certainly... Van Gogh. 
does have strength. He's uh, weak in some areas, though. I have to play him to his strengths. I don't think he's got a higher work rate yet. What's his decisions? 10, Parsons 11. Uh. Hennela on his debut. Hennela again, disallowed. Well. off two one um, let's just sit out there for the rest of the game Well, at least we got away of it with a rotated team. But Ajax and Feyenoord have won all their games so far. And when I play the Juventus game, and then I'll save it. I'm not too concerned with the, with the dodgy matches at the beginning because it's going to take me a while just to get to know the squad and how it flows, what players I can and can't use and things like that. Like I've already found out about my keeper and there's a couple of players I'm not happy with already. Kesman seems very inconsistent at this point. But wow, two goals on his debut in the 10. If we can avoid defeat against Juventus, so I'm, I'm, well, if we can beat them at home, that's two wins out of two. So that's what we got to aim for. Boomerang and Brigink are a little bit tired, but not overly tired. Put 
put Romadale back on direct. Um, Kesman uh, take him off run with ball. Uh, Van Gogh Hesseling back in. Six assists, so it's insane for a holding midfielder. Put it up back in. Plays that role nicely, actually. Any man marks, both him and Hofland do. At least Hofland, yeah, Hofland's back to his best. It's weird because I never ever press with my centre backs, but I'm pressing with them all. It just seems to uh, fit the. Uh, how's Boom I've been doing? His ratings are really high, though. His passing's low. What? Passing can I put him on? Right. Fuchs has actually got higher marking. I should have put Vogel back in, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. He's actually got 18 long shots as well. Um, what was I going to say? What's he on long shots and free balls? So for man and man, okay. Find bomb or captain. Yeah, he's been much better than the other guy. Ah, oh, big game. They got such. A, oh, this just brings back memories. <laughs> Have they started? Pretty okay. Their defence is so strong though. To Ram, even that per Ram out is pretty good. And Buffon in goal. So even if you get past them all. Right, come on. Need a big big performance. Let's go. So Juve at the moment, and Salas makes it one 0 oh, Could it almost equalise before half time? Um, Kesman. Well, 
Well, draw's not the, the worst result. That group's so tight. Anyway, I'll save it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.